Without further ado, let's start the first mission of the game, Anglo Attack. The Anglo Isles have launched a surprise attack on the outlying islands of the Solar Empire. Empress Lei Ko must act quickly or face the dishonor of defeat. Look at this guy. That's our opponent. Pencil Neck. That's his new nickname. Glad we got posted to the Solar Empire, General. Garrison duty has its perks, I suppose. Damn, Herman, look at that tan. You're almost black now. <laughs> Better be right about this super weapon, Colonel Windsor. This guy. Whatever do you mean, Commander Pierce? Anglo military intelligence is second to none. Fire! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> uh, this game's so stereotypical. Like, they made the British sound oh, so British. The outer islands are under attack. They make the Japanese sound so Very Japanese. Well. Admiral Akira. Master our defenses. History has come full circle. It is just as I have foreseen. I love it though. Just adds the charm that is Battalion Wars. But for some unknown reason, the Anglo Isles, or the quote-unquote British forces of the game which are new to the game by the way they're one of the new factions we'll see throughout the play playthrough um, for some reason they have attacked our solar allies and we are not going to let that happen so I'm guessing the first mission is us fighting back come in commander this is Empress Laco the Anglo Alts have attacked, leaving devastation in their wake. These Solar Empire docks have been oh, destroyed, wow, that did a lot of along damage. with the Imperial Battalion stationed here. We must defend this airbase from further attack by Colonel Windsor. The sanctity of our homeland rests in your hands. Look at his picture. <laughs> Look at his profile picture. What the heck? He literally has no neck. Commander, we must reinforce our airbase to the west. But first, we must regroup. Excellent, Commander. You have found okay, I guess I'm ground. collecting now, use a bunch the of survivors. To locate the remaining three. Press the minus button to open the map screen. Which provides a quickly commander. Thank you, I was gonna mention that earlier. Uh map the map in this game. The first game it was helpful. This game it's even more so because there you have so much more control. And the other game you'd have to like scroll with the analog stick and it'd be kind of slow. And this one, it's like instant. I wanna go over here, look at whatever's over here, zoom in. Pretty nice, not gonna lie, nice upgrade. Find the uh, yeah, grant. that's all about you the map, really. Another rifle grant. Two more remaining. That's another rifle grant. Just one more to go. It's pretty cool. We're starting out as a solar empire in this game. The last game was very uh, we Western Frontier centric. Well done. Now head to the next gold star, Commander. Your path is blocked, Commander. Send your rifle grant to destroy. Oh yeah, in the first here. game, you really only played star, as Commander. the Western Frontier. Save for the bonus missions. That was the only time you got to play as a different faction. Rifle grunts, disembark and attack those solar empire blighters. Blighters. Enemy patrol. Fear not. Main veterans are at hand. Attack. Get cooked. 
We may be just some blighters, but you just Our lost to us. Sealed the bamboo gate ahead. Fortunately for us, it can be burned down. Use left or right on the plus control pad to select the flame vet. Now, okay. use the plus control Simple enough. pad to select the flame vets and send them to destroy the bamboo gate. Well done, Commander. Now head to the next gold star. <laughs> the freaking Solar Empire is so cool. Like their weapon designs are sweet. I'll put a stop to you, Empress Daco. Perhaps try those Imperial rockets. Blue flames, which means they in real terms should do the most damage of any flame in the game, because blue fire is the hottest. But I don't think it takes that into account. But it looks pretty cool. How's everyone doing on health? Just fine, that's good. Our machine guns will have effect, but the flamethrowers will. There we go. Ahead, okay, so far so good. This, uh, I haven't done this. Like the only mission I did was the very first one, the, the tutorial mission. So I don't really know what to expect in this one. Okay, let me save the other entire air, please. It's being attacked already. Use the plus control pad to select. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Tap the enemy bazooka vet using Basically, she just said icons. to uh. Most proficient commander. Uh, switch to the all icon to tell everyone to attack. It's pretty basic. And now yours to command. Yeah, we got our first vehicle of the game. Colonel Windsor to bomb Anti air. That's kind of cool. Send in a bomber and stop those pesky Imperials from reaching their airbex. Quickly. Use the plus control pad to select the anti-air vehicle and okay, send it's, oh, it to attack that bomber. Oh, already selected. Let's take this thing out. Go anti-air. Well nice. Done, Good kill. The Anglo bomber has been wiped out. Commander, I'll need you to take personal control of the anti-air vehicle before I can open the next gate. Okay. Use the Z button to lock onto one of your youth. Lock onto the anti air vehicle. This is your oh, first simple enough. time in control of a I vehicle. I can live with that. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the controls. Let's go raise that flag, boys. Fighting to our operations in this region. I cannot let your forces advance, Empress. Bombers away. Uh, bombers. Oh boy. Destroy those two Anglo bombers. Excellent. One bomber down. Both bombers have been destroyed. Okay, that wasn't too now, bad. To the double rainbow. It's a double rainbow. Did you look at that. Pretty sure that means good luck. I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go capture the flag. You have reinforced the airbase. Go troops. Well done, Commander. Actually, I can't lock onto it. In the previous attack, the enemy nearly captured our airbase. You must re-raise the Solar Empire flag. Lock on to the airbase flag, then say now send your infantry to the airbase flag and recapture the facility. Okay, you guys grab that. I'll watch out for whatever comes our way. That is a pretty rainbow though, look at that. Well done. And a waterfall. Air transports, dispatch grunts to capture the airbase flag. Come on, pencil neck. Don't do this to me. You seem like a sensible guy. Hopefully I can kill them before they drop any troops. There we go. Most efficient. Neutralize the enemy battalion defending that flag. Alright, I'm gonna have you guys stay back here. I'll take care of the bombers. Oh, bombs! 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, that could have been bad. Thankfully, I dodged them. Okay. Oh, we got both now. Uh... I went for the chopper first because I feel like that might help more. We should be fine though. Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna need to retreat to my troops because these guys have anti air, or not anti air, they have bazookas. Go, guys, go, go, go! Fight them, win! That could have been handled a lot better, but I Excellent think I did okay. Work, Commander. You secured the airbase. The battle is won, General. But Look at that, we have freaking hover ships. Been. Like, Solar but Empire, that, that's where it's at. Never know a lasting peace. This island remains under your control. But we shall not relent in our search for that super weapon. See you on the beach. See you there, pencil neck. Okay, it appears uh, you're graded similar to how you were in the first game. Actually, just the same. Uh, power, speed, and technique. Uh, destroy more units and complete destruction objectives to improve your power score. That's basically the same. Uh, complete the mission as fast as possible to improve your speed score. Also the same. Safeguard the health of units in your battalion and complete resupply objectives to improve your technique score. Also the same. So yeah, uh, like I said in the very first Battalion Wars Let's Play, you're graded on these three criteria and you're given a grade to go along with it. Now, I don't know if you... In the first game, the point to get a good grade was to unlock the bonus missions. I don't know if there are bonus missions in this game. Uh, it's been too long for me to remember. Um, obviously, still though, we will do our best to get the best score possible. <laughs>